Hey there, welcome to my studio here in New York City. I'm Daniel Norton here with Cadence. And this is gonna be a short video talking about butterfly lighting. So I did a video a while back where I kind of talked about the different styles or positions of light, and I got lots of questions about wanting more detail and more information, so that's what this series is gonna be. So butterfly lighting is, and we're gonna show it in a second, but butterfly lighting is basically when the light is centered on the subject, that is as they're looking, right? and it creates basically a shape under the nose and lip that has a butterfly look. That's where it gets the name from. This is the kind of lighting that you might want to use for beauty. It's often used for that. It has a lot of great effects. So let me set it up, we'll shoot it, and we'll talk a little bit about it. So what you're generally gonna to wanna to do is have some kind of a light that you can boom out. I have a pro photo here on a C-stand. I'm gonna have Caden step out for a second. Okay, so we wanna keep the light more or less centered on the face, basically. So if they're looking towards the camera like I'm gonna do in this, case, I'm going to put the light right over the camera. We want to put it relatively close. The closer the light is, the more you'll have to pitch the angle, which means you'll have more shadow under the nose. So it just depends on the look you're going for. If you put it too far back, the light will be super flat. If you put it too close, the light will be too dramatic. You'll have like super dark in the eyes. So you want to be roughly a foot or so back to start. Maybe up to three feet is probably the most. It really depends on the subject exactly how their face is positioned and the size of your modifier. All right, so I'm gonna use C-stand, I'm gonna raise it up. Like most things with lighting, we want it to be, you know, in order to get a soft light, we're gonna want it to be as close as possible to the subject without being in the shot. So I'm gonna raise it up until I don't see it anymore through the camera, which is probably about right here. I'm gonna look through the camera and check, it might be right at the edge. I don't see it anymore. Okay, so that's probably a good place for it to be. It's slightly angled down. You can use the modeling light, of course, if you wanna get a good idea for it. That looks pretty good. And we'll take a test shot. I'm in TTL. There you go, nice and simple. Butterfly light. It creates a beautiful, even light across the face. You get the little butterfly under the nose. And what we get with butterfly light, which is very nice, is it helps shape the face, it helps define the jaw. So that's why it's often good for a beauty shot, right? The light's centered, it's coming down. If they have like nice makeup or whatever, it's gonna reflect nicely. You're gonna have nice uh, cheek lines. You can add black cards to the side to make it more dramatic. There's lots of ways to kind of spice it up. You can also, of course, fill it. Uh, for most of these, we're gonna just stick with just showing the light itself, but I'll kind of finish with a little bit of fill because people like to see them finish. So I'm just gonna use a reflector in this case. We take a reflector. Whenever you're using a reflector, you just wanna make sure that obviously it's going to actually reflect the light. And there you go, nice and filled in, nice and simple. The shadow is not as dark, which makes it you know, a little bit more appealing for some things. So there you go, butterfly light, real simple. Put the light on the center of the face as the person's looking. That means that if Cadence was make, uh, shooting her in profile, this would not be a butterfly light, right? It would be something else. If she's, if she's gonna look sideways, you've gotta put the light on them. So always consider the light to be centered on them for the butterfly, not centered on the camera. That's really what makes it. So I'll put Cadence's information in the description below. You guys can follow her. Be sure to follow me, Daniel Martin Photographer. Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, do all that goodness. Check the notes below for all these links and stuff, and I'll see you next time.